Hey folks, it's Sheldon with Tiger Tough here again. Today we are going to be putting some seat covers on a new Jeep Wrangler. First thing I'm going to need to do is slide the seat forward. Just do that by pulling up on the lever in the front and pull the seat forward. That way it gets it up in the doorway where it's easy to work on. And then I'm going to take the headrest off. So there's two buttons at the base of the headrest. They're, they're both just, just two big buttons. You push both of them in and pull the headrest up at the same time. And you just pull it right out of the seat back. Now we're just going to raise the seat all the way up. It makes it easier to get underneath of it. So it makes it easier to put the cover on. Now there's a flap that goes all the way down the back of the seat here. We're going to release that with there's two little elastic straps that go underneath the seat. And we'll just push those forward to release them. And then that'll release this flap. Like that. All right, the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna put the cover on the bottom of the seat. And all your covers will have little pegs in that say driver or passenger. So this one says driver. We're working on the driver's seat, so we're good to go. First, I'm just gonna put it over top of the seat and just kinda get it kinda sorta matched up with the uh, shape of the seat. This string, I'm just gonna tuck down in here like this. And I'm going to tuck this here flap between the seat back and the seat bottom just to get it out of the way. When you're tucking this side down in between the seat and the console, just want to feel and make sure that the cover goes all the way down so that way it can wrap underneath the side of the seat. Okay, now on the outside of the seat, by the door, we have the lumbar knob and the seat height adjustment to deal with. And so, we're just going to make sure that this goes around the lumbar knob, like this. And then we'll just tuck this here, back in behind that lumbar. Just like that. Now, this string, I'm going to push right underneath the seat here, like this. All right, I've got these two strings that we pushed through in the earlier steps. And now what I'm gonna do is pull them tight. And what these do is they pull the cover down around the seat really, really tightly. And that's what keeps it from shifting side to side as you get in and out. So the tighter you can get these, the better. I'm just gonna start by pulling on this one and then I'll pull on the other one. So we've got them snugged up. And now in this one over here, this as close as I can to the console, I'm gonna just tie a loop in it. Like that, make sure it's tight, and then I'm gonna take this other string and feed it through the loop and pull it back on itself to create a really, really tight string underneath there. And then while that's under there, I'm going to tie them together in a knot, and any knot that won't slip is just fine. Just like that. Okay, now this cover is tied on so it is not going anywhere. Now we just have to make it so it fits tight and fits the sh shape of the seat like it's supposed to. This flap right here from the, that goes down the front of the seat, I'm gonna wrap it right around the front and making sure it goes over top of all the adjustment levers. Lever, the seat only has one. We'll push it to the back of the seat. And now I'm gonna go around to the back and take the flap that we pushed through on the top and this one that we just pushed through on the bottom. I'm gonna pull them tight and stick them together. Okay, now we've got the flap I just pushed through as well as our extra bits of string. And so to keep it tidy, I'm just gonna wrap those up and put them up in there. And then we're gonna take this here and pull it tight. The tighter you pull it, the better your cover's gonna fit. Just like that. All right, the bottom cover's on. You can see it fits tight, and there's no big wrinkles or anything like that. So now we're going to put the back cover on. Okay, now I've got the back cover for the seat. Just like the bottom, there's a tag that says driver. Also, there's the Tiger Tough tag and the airbag tag. Both of these tags have to point towards the door. 
If they point towards the inside, then you've got the wrong cover. So driver tag down here, Tiger Tough tag, airbag tag over here, they face the door. Now to put this cover on, I'm gonna turn it most of the way inside out. I'll just pull it over top of the seat and pull it until the cover is tight on the top of the seat like that. Now we're going to work the cover around the plastic trim for the headrest. So I'm just going to take the cover and starting on the side of the um, plastic trim with the button on it, just hook it underneath there and stretch it around that trim. It'll be a little tight, and that's to make sure that it looks good once the cover's installed. Just like that. Now I'm just gonna start rolling this cover down the seat. I'm just pulling everything down tight as I go. And then I'm going to take these flaps here and push them between the back and the bottom. Just like that. Okay, now we're going to take this flap that we released before. With the cover on, we don't need that anymore. So we're just going to tuck it up inside the back of the cover like that. And now we'll pull these flaps out from the front. Okay, so starting with the center one, I'm just going to pull it tight and fasten it to the back of the cover. Like that. And we'll pull the two side ones tight and do the same thing with them. So if you get any little wrinkles like these once you've got the cover on, just reach in the side like that and you can pull them out. Alright, now we're going to put the headrest in. To do that we need to put the seat all the way back down. And you just line it up. and slide it in. Now I got the headrest cover. These are the same for both the driver or the passenger side so there's no tags on these because it doesn't matter which way you put them on. So this long tag here, this has to go in the front when you put it on. That part does matter. Just slide it on like that. And then we'll take this, push it under the headrest tuck it up inside the back of the cover and you're good to go. So there you go. It was that easy to make your Jeep look at least a hundred times better.